oh, it's cold. And uh, I finally am wearing a long shirt. I'm wearing a plaid flannel lumberjack button-up thing. Because I, despite having long sleeves, I don't push those sleeves up. So it won't bother my elbow bandages. But I am so fucking paranoid. Because... <laughs> I have uh, hypoallergenic sensitive skin bandages on and they like to peel up at the edges if there's a little bit of movement. So <laughs> I have to keep an arm on my elbow. My bandage is still on. Fucking paranoid. I can't wear the ones that stick well because I'm allergic to the glue. Anyway, everything seems to be healing up great except for my knee, which uh was apparently what hit the driveway first. <laughs> uh, it's smaller, but it's still red, and it still gives out a bit of blood. But my elbow and forearm, great. Cleaned it up today. It was itchy as hell yesterday. This is TMI. Skip this until the game starts. It was itchy as fuck yesterday. And I confess, I'm a picker. If I got a scab, or there's a loose bit of skin, pick it, get it off. That's why I've had bandages on. That's why I've had eczema come up. Look, I wear a bandage. The more I, my skin's like, I don't like this. And it was so itchy. And I just wanted to scratch it because I'm like, oh. But this morning I took the bandage off and I was washing the wound, you know, cleaning it up. And I was patting it dry. And I gave it a look and I could see dry skin. I'm like, just, just that one part. And I touched it. And this massive, I say massive, it was about the size of a dime. U.S. Canadian dime. So, mm, less than half an inch, centimeter. Scabs were falling off. And I'm like, oh, yes. And once they fell off, it was like the wound went from being like six inches long to just being these two you know, quarter-sized bits on my, close to my elbow. Anyway, I'm done talking about my ouchies. <laughs> if you're a picker, leave a comment and thumbs up. Alright, so what do we got? We gotta go through the whole fucking house and find the other five recordings. This fucking asshole. I knew I should've sh I was thinking about shooting this one first. Remember when I first came in? And I could see somebody over there. I thought about shooting him first. But I didn't, because I was a good girl. Hey, ain't nobody here. What's in this? I'm in here. Oh god, now I can't get out. You believe that shit? <laughs> Do you fucking believe that? I'm here like, why can I not turn around? Is it my keyboard? What the fuck, man? I'm like, like, I'm trying to back up or move forward or whatever. And then, yeah, like, I'm moving my mouse to the left and it's not moving. Well, it's moving now. It wasn't before. Fuckers. Anyway, now that everybody's dizzy. I want this fucking thing. I know that's worth some money. Well, one and done. Okay, that's the stairs down. I, I could have sworn I turned. I 
I mean, I could see my mouse being weird because, like, I'll be in the same spot, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, there's that place. We've been there. That we need to do. Right, let's save. Now that I got the fucking key, bitch. Office key. Open that fucking door. Look at that guy. Fucking asshole. Can I get up here, please? Thank you. <laughs> Good God. Alright, where's the switch? <gasps> you know, if Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart wore Loki's outfit and the helmet without the horn, so that's what that is. Greetings, Garrett. Thou art expected, though not precisely welcomed. Seem not so surprised. I have anticipated thine arrival, just as I now anticipate thy departure. <laughs> art thou a religious man? It is time to say thy prayers. Thy sins will be thine own undoing. Um, how do I get into your... Uh, let me in your fucking... safe. There's stuff in there, I want it. Give it to me now! Oh, the anger. Anger. This fucking cat dude, I don't know what the hell that shit is. I wish I could kill it. I really wish I could. Any golden shiny shit? Message number four of six. Privilege get privilege get privilege get privilege get privilege guest. I trust you will enjoy this piece presented by the servants I have given you. 
Imagine, a short while ago, these servants were consigned to an asylum. Mentally feeble, they were of no use to anyone. Now they are safe and productive. Now they know happiness. Would that I could be with you tonight for the servants make excellent cooks. After you dine, friend Vilnia will guide the arm to the gallery. Okay. Where's the key to your goddamn safe, man? Why the fuck am I even trying? So, pretty sure this floor is clear. Floor six clear, floor five clear. I'm assuming the message in his office was one of one of the ones we needed. And they can't see her, so fuck that shit. Was she the only one? Because I don't hear anything else. Wait. Isn't that that crazy bitch? No, no, no. We threw... We got... There's more than one in a red dress. We... Um... We clocked her out. What's the point, Margaret? Now they will be happy. To serve the nobility is the highest privilege in life, of course. But slavery is just so distasteful. No, no, no. Not slaves, Margaret. Servants. You heard Mr. Karras. But why argue semantics? Before this, they were raving lunatics. Have you ever seen a lunatic prepare a stew? Or sweep a stable? <laughs> Not a pretty sight. One can be sure of that. <laughs> oh, Christopher, you're such a card. Oh, Karis did say the servants could garden. I wonder if they can plant azaleas or roses. We could use them to trim the lilac bushes as well. You see, my dear, the servants can truly make you happy. Could there be a more noble purpose in life? Oh, Christopher, stop. <laughs> Oh, Christopher. Guards! He's over here! Guards! Thief! Don't let him get away! <clears throat> Whoops! I wasn't expecting them to come out the fucking door.
Sorry, I'm being quiet because I'm being quiet. You know how it is. I know you had some money on you, woman. Where'd it go? No, you stay there. You... There! Done and done. Good. Oh shit! Nothing. I am not pleased, for they are wretched creatures. Where are you coming from, guy? Keep walking. No look, strats. Oh! Excuse me! I really hate when the guards are chalked up like that. Oh, man. <sighs> now I gotta decide, should I wait here for the other guy? Or chase him down? Oh, he's coming back. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry for the burp. All right, get ready. And the girl is on top. Oh, hi. Is there treasure back here? Mm. Where's that walking going? Okay, that door goes to that room.
What's that? You have Speak. Reacted. Did you hear that cry from the sea? I guess it was nothing. <sighs> well. Look for that. I can't believe he thought to charge so much for that. Does he think I'm a fool? I got this money Cease by the story and left acting. And right. <gasps> Robber! What did you <laughs> Good lord! A, a corpse! Okay. Oh, that goes down. All right. What is the point of all this crap? Number two of six. Greetings again, guests. I pray your spirits do not suffer for my absence. I present to each a gift. The most wondrous yet of my innovations. A living worker suited to all household tasks. Ready always to perform your bidding. I call them... The servant. The servant knows not how to lead or gossip. The servant knows only how to tirelessly perform thy will, be it cooking, cleaning, or gardening. Please accept them with my gratitude. But the tour continues. Pray do follow Vilnia once again. Okay, so, uh, I know, God, not options, objectives. <clears throat> okay, there's got to be a key to that safe, because that's, I'm pretty sure, where the Cetus Project info is. Now, we've heard four records. says all the voice machines so we've got four down we've heard the one specifically for us and we've got three for the guests so we need to find at least three more all right done and done so i will see you thursday and of course i will give you an update on my ouchies hopefully by thursday i'll be down to uh, one bandage on my knee wouldn't that be nice <laughs>